Oh, hello. I hope you're having a good evening celebrating Liverpool Walton Core together. You know, over the last few weeks, we asked you to nominate your Liverpool Walton Heroes of the Faith. And many of you have done that, so we're going to share that together now. We could have picked so many people from our long history in this core. Uh, and this is just really a snapshot of what it means to have been a member of this core and been influenced by so many over so many years. You may hear names that you uh, don't recognise from the past. You may hear names of people that are in the room now who are slightly feeling embarrassed. You may have precious memories that you didn't have an opportunity to share, but you want to talk to others about. And I'd encourage you to explore that in conversation with the people around you throughout the evening. But for now, let's take a moment to think about all those people who've gone before us, who've established this community and fellowship in this part of our city, and we thank God for them. Enjoy our Liverpool Walton Heroes of the Faith. I just want to express um, my love and my thoughts of heroes of Liverpool Walton Corps and in particular Jim Twist and Audrey Twist. Jim was uh, the pioneer who filmed every opportunity of this hall being built and uh, he was just so important in doing that and helping us to create the history we have here. But also he was the pioneer who carried the flag on many occasions for our corps. When I think of Audrey, I think of the wonderful reputation she had of engaging with our community. And we still have people coming to Playbox, probably three generations past from when she was there and gave out the white mice and how important that was to them. But also I want to thank God for, for Jill uh, and for all that she did in commencing the community programme here and the way in which she reached out to so many and is a great opportunity that Jeanette now follows uh, and responds to and I just thank God for them, for their dedication to the school and for the joy they have brought in introducing so many people to our call. My Walton Hero of the Faith is Derek Higgins. I first met Derek when I joined Walton Band over 50 years ago. He exemplified what it meant to be a salvationist and bandsman. He was always friendly, always positive and had a great sense of humour and a warm smile. He was a wonderful horn player and a friend. If you met Derek, you would know that he was a person of faith. Hi, my name's Lorna and my hero of faith is Jeanette because she's been a big encourager to me. Um, but not only me, she does so much for women and to raise the profile of women and to meet women's needs in this church and in the wider community. Dot Higgins nominates the Twist family and she says this. I first joined the army as an 11 year old and from the beginning, one by one, they looked out and cared for me. My Walton hero of faith is Doug Wilson and I thank God for him because of his encouragement when I started the senior band. He used to loan me CDs and encourage me that way. So I thank God for him. From the age of 10 to 32, I was not able to worship with my hero as he had other divisional duties. He became a soldier at Walton in 1972 on retirement. And I thank God for him because I saw in him, as a soldier, humility, kindness, goodness and love. He was an encourager, a communicator and a wise counsellor. He was very small in stature but a spiritual giant, my dad, Lieutenant Colonel William Davidson. My Liverpool Walton hero of the faith is the uh, late bandmaster and songster leader, Brian Twist. When I was a student here at Liverpool University, he invited me to come along to some band practices. Um, I'd missed playing a little bit and uh, that was a really nice gesture. And of course the problem is being a percussionist, uh, we don't travel light, we come with a fair bit of baggage and he was always very happy to carry myself and all the stuff, all the drums in the car to various concerts and festivals, but particularly uh, to and from Lime Street Station at the beginning and end of term. Now as a student I really appreciated that and it was really great to feel welcome and that's why Brian is my Liverpool Walton Hero of the Faith. 
My Walton hero of faith is Les Elliott. I thank God for him because he was a quiet encourager and he welcomed me into his family when I was far away from my own. Sheila Hope nominates Corps Sergeant Major Bob Wilson. And she says this. He spoke to my father at an open air and invited my twin brother and me to the primary 74 years ago. And here I am now. He worked quietly in the background, helping those less fortunate without publicity. What an influence. My hero is my first young people sergeant major, Bob Wilson. On a Sunday morning, we were allowed to go for a walk, all dressed up in our Sunday best. No playing out on the Sabbath day. My sister, brother and I used to stand and listen to the singing at the Salvation Army Hall, which we found out later was the children's singing at the 10 o'clock directory meeting. Ask me about that if you don't know what that means. Uncle Bob, as he became known to us later, came outside to see who was there. He asked us who we were and why we were there and followed it through by visiting our parents who were not Salvationists. This resulted in us attending Sunday school at Walton and making this our spiritual home. We were a Christian family already, but I will be forever grateful to Uncle Bob for his interest in us and following through with his visit and for the nurturing we received. Now 75 years plus, um, I'm still here and this is still my spiritual home. My Liverpool Walton heroes of the faith are John and Jean Mayers. Uh, so when I first came to Liverpool about 21 years ago as a student, there were lots of people in the corps who showed me real kindness and care and looked after me, and I really appreciated that. Uh, but none more so than John and Jean, who regularly used to come and pick me up uh, before band practice or songs of practice, or to come to the meeting on a Sunday, or anything else really that was going on in the corps that they thought I'd be interested in. Uh, an offer was always open to me. Um, and then dropped me back again afterwards late at night. Um, and yeah, just really good Christian people, cared, showed kindness, showed an interest in me, and gave really wise counsel when things were tough. So many people to choose from, uh, including some of you watching now. But I've picked Will and Debbie Pearson, who left Walton over 16 years ago to become Salvation Army officers. It was a real joy for us to see two young people that we'd nurtured become dear, wise friends who inspired, challenged and encouraged us. Not just with their words, but they, the way that they lived with such integrity that demonstrated their faith and generosity to others. And they continue to live sacrificially now as Salvation Army officers. They inspired me to see my faith and my salvationism in new and fresh ways, uh, to work hard, to have fun, and they made a lasting impact on the young people here and on our music ministry. And they loved my family. What heroes. The heroes of uh, Walt for me, uh, well, there's quite a few really, but the first three that came to mind was Uncle Les, Auntie Betty and Auntie Megan, always there through everything, consistent, uh, a great source of wisdom and encouragement. Um, but also in thinking about this, actually, the heroes of faith right now are actually those youth and those kids. Um, they uplift, they teach me more than I think they realise, um, and they are cracking heroes of faith. My name's Mary, and I've been at the core for about four or five years now, and Heather asked me to choose a hero, but to me, you're all heroes, so what else can I say? Thank you.